Jenna Ortega, her dream role, according to some, is Joan of Arc. Ha! Huh. And the news just came out that Baz Lorman, the director of Elvis and Moulin Rouge, Moulin Rouge, is going to be doing Joan of Arc. What do you guys think? Jenna Ortega taking on St. Joan? Joan of Arc? That's one of her passionate uh, characters that she wants to play. And uh, I got the story from Fletcher. I appreciate that. And I was very curious about this in the reaction so that I put up a poll on Twitter. And most of you guys are against her playing the role. Some citing that she is not French or she's not European. I will give you my opinion on that in a second. But let's get to uh, this post by Pop Crave. Pop Crave. If Jenna Ortega reveals her dream character to play from history is Joan of Arc. Okay. Well, Joan was very young, correct? So the age the age range is there because Jenna still plays very young. And Jenna, as of right now, is one of the Globe's biggest names right now. Uh, with Wednesday and now with Beetlejuice, uh, she's cementing her, her celebrity. So there's a lot of this... Um, comments for from people saying not european not even french no thanks any reason why joan of arc couldn't be french anymore too bad she's not white and then some are saying she would be great in this she'd definitely be good some are saying oh brother not original one points out does she have the depth for the role she is a great actor but man she really needs to do a serious role with a good director well, she has. They're small films, but they've been done, and she has uh, done very well in those films. But there is a post here that I think is interesting, and I think it needs to be talked about. And it's from Franco. And Franco says, if she does, I wonder if she'll say true to who St. Joan really was. Now, we're going to uh, look check out this video of his. Then I'm going to give you my my critique on or just my opinion on why jenna there's no reason why jenna shouldn't be doing this role absolutely not right so but let's check out this this gentleman's uh video here jenna ortega reveals her dream character to play from history is joan of arc another catholic martyr who was burned alive jenna please don't let hollywood slander her she was not some arrogant woman that hated men sure she might have had a temper but she was actually a very humble sweet natured catholic girl who had an actual divine mission to help her devout catholic king charles the seventh win against the english she was staunchly against sex work because she was chased away the prostitutes that followed her french soldiers and she encouraged okay so franco brings up some great points here in that historically who saint joan was staunch catholic uh virtuous uh, chased away uh, uh prostitutes at the time from her from her uh, from the french soldiers he's basically saying don't let hollywood you know modernize her in any way in any way which Boz lorman um we might fall into some trouble there it, it really depends on uh, his vision it's not really up to jenna maybe she does consult but let's say she she gets the role first of all right but anyone who does this should be listening to to franco and maybe doing doing some more research but uh that this is a really much this is a catholic figure this is a catholic saint so that's already kind of problematic in today's Hollywood. Encourage her soldiers to live a life of purity. She didn't wear military attire for vanity reasons. She strongly believed in the supremacy of Christ's Catholic Church and its authority. And she was respectful to its hierarchy even during her trial, which accused her of heresy and witchcraft. In fact, she was... So she loved God. She loved uh, Jesus, her savior, uh, being a Catholic so much that even during her trial, she still professed her love for, for, her, for her faith. So old Hollywood would do really good with this story. I don't know about new Hollywood right now. I, I'd be shocked, shocked if they really leaned into any of this that really is Joan of Arc.
It was completely against heresy and witchcraft because she obediently accepted all the church's teachings, which her visions didn't go against. I believe in God and in everything that the church believes. I am a good Catholic and I am ready to submit to the church in all things. She even got French soldiers to go to confession and receive the sacraments regularly. Her oh. trial and execution were not a result of Catholic doctrine, but rather the result of personal interests from pro-English figures. This is why another trial was held after her death, which was backed and overseen by the Pope, in which she was found innocent and she was later confirmed to be a saint. May we be strong enough to imitate St. Joan of Arc's humility and faith. St. Joan of Arc, please pray for us. Beautiful. Um, beautifully done. And uh, Franco here is a Catholic content creator. She's 23 years old. My work is mainly on Instagram. So we're going off of, let, let's, let's just say that a lot of what he shared is, is on the money. A lot of what he shared is on the money, right? then there's going to be a lot of problems as far as uh, modern Hollywood even attempting to pull this off or attempting to, you know, yeah, that, that's my feeling there. I, I would love for them to, to, to do it right. And there's other historical uh, female saints, uh, one from Mexico, I think of, Sor Juana. I would love a story on her. Uh, so, Fantastic. Yeah, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Jenna could do Sorwana if you guys uh, were so uh, hung up on the fact of uh, Jenna's ethnicity. So, but that, that's a, I thought that was a really good video from uh, Franco. Okay, so finally, I want to give you guys my thoughts on, on uh, the what if casting of Jenna Ortega. What we do know is that it's a dream role for her. Uh, like I said earlier, she's one of the biggest celebrities in the moment uh, around the globe. And uh, she definitely would bring a huge interest to this role. I've also said she has done not one, but two, but a few, but a few independent series films where she knocked it out of the park. And she's worked with great directors and actors, Tommy Lee Jones, Martin Freeman, just to name a few in her indie films where you really saw an actor acting out of their uh, usual kind of like with her, her gothic kind of like cutesy role or one tone, one takes, uh, you know, a serious take, uh, you know, comedic overtones from Wednesday also to uh, maybe from X or even Scream. Scream is just basically uh, your, your pop culture flair. Oh, um, what else do we wanted to say in regards to Ortega since we cover her so much in her <clears throat> in her career? Ah, those roles in which I was talking about, Miller's Girl and Finest Kind, she's not playing a Mexican. She's not playing a Latina. In fact, Miller's Girl, she's playing a Southern girl with a Southern accent. Finest Kind, she is a kind of nondescript girl from uh, from New Hampshire, I believe, or Massachusetts, an Eastern seaboard fishing community. Definitely not a uh a, a like latina of sorts i believe she just played caucasian so i would be a hypocrite if i was to say that jenna can't play this role because of her of her ethnicity if ben affleck can play tony mendez in the movie argo who is a historical character tony mendez was an american hero who is mexican-american played by Jen, ben affleck then Jenna Ortega can play Joan of Arc. Uh, we've talked about this and covered this because ultimately what we want and I want to see here, and I just did a rant, <clears throat> a rant um, on kind of just my takes on John Leguizamo and him pointing out Latino actors, is that ultimately these Latino actors want to just be considered actors. And that is what we want as well, isn't it? Because we keep talking about the the merit of of an actor that it shouldn't matter at the end of the day uh their background or their color or their ethnicity is can they pull off the role can they entertain from denzel washington to ben affleck to also to emma stone i'm thinking of jennifer lawrence i'm thinking of these great actors who play different characters of different backgrounds why not can't Jen Ortega be vaulted into that echelon and knock out roles out of her ethnicity? This is not out of uh, her her wheelhouse. 
Now, if you were to say uh, something that's a little more uh, far away, uh, maybe an Asian princess, an African you know, queen or warrior, historical figure, historical figure, by the way, then you're asking the audience a little too much. Here, I think you could have some something magical. I really do. But I know I'm going against of most of what uh, my audience has, has been saying, but that's okay because here at The Slant, we always don't agree with each other. All right, let me know what you guys think right now, wherever you're at. Keep your slant perfect. Gracias. That's better. Crack open.